time I posted a video in here, but I'm gonna make one, okay, for you today. So I'm going to give an update on the alternative classroom tool that I'm going to use just in case classing will really uh, limit the number of classes that, okay, yeah, a teacher can 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 create i think in a month yeah from class in's announcement it was said that they will limit one okay yeah one uh, for one month the teacher is only allowed to have like 20 classes 20 free uh 40 minute classes in a month starting february 27 okay that's what i heard and also read from some uh pages right on facebook um so immediately uh, upon hearing this i actually yeah i, I was kind of uh kind of anxious yeah because yeah of course we have lots of students and class in is yeah is has been there since i started and i'm actually an avid yeah user of this tool but of course since the price of i mean the the yeah the paid version will be kind of a uh, expensive <laughs> and for me it's just quite unreasonable uh, given that i don't actually yeah maximize using all the features that classin provides okay though yeah uh we we cannot deny the fact that classin is actually doing well okay when it comes to give uh providing interactive right uh classroom experience is really good okay so let's start with this one so firstly is that um most parents of my students recommended um the okay Voob. it's like a zoom meeting app zoom meeting app okay in china which I tried. It's uh, very convenient for me and also convenient for the students. But here's the thing. Second thing is that I'm not going to totally scrap or forget about class in. Class in is still useful because, uh, firstly, I can use the blackboard of class in. So I will not, okay, yeah, so given that, the class, uh, the, the Blackboard of class is still very useful, and I've already uploaded a lot of my materials in the cloud, so I will still going to use that. The only thing that, uh, I'm going to use that one, okay, for my lessons. I mean, I'm just going to share my screen with my students, and, okay, yeah, um, share the window of the class in Blackboard. Yeah, I think it's very yeah for me it's um the classroom will be tidy and also easier for me to take some notes right and yeah i know that given okay yeah given that uh it's only shared screen um the students can still use the pen of class in any way if i'm going to give them the authority to use the remote control from Zoom, uh, from uh, from Voob, I should say. But this can only be used by students who are using computers. But if they are using like Android devices, like mobile phones or what, yeah, they can just use the annotation function of Voob. But it's still okay for me. I'm going to give you a model or a demo on how you're going to manage that kind of um, thing in the classroom. Third is that uh, I will still use class in chat box with my students because it I, I yeah I realized that it is easier to communicate with my students through the class in chat box because they are very familiar with that one already. So what I'm just going to do is that copy the meeting ID from Voob and then paste it or send it to my students class in chat box and there. They can just see the link of uh, the meeting. They just have to click that one, and it will uh, directly uh, it will direct them automatically to the Voob application. 
And after that, uh, but there's there's one thing that you have to make sure the student must have already uh, installed the application in their device so that when they click on the link, it will automatically um, direct them to the application that has been installed because if they haven't installed it yet, of course, they will be downloading the app. Okay, so that's the third thing about it. So now I'm going to show you a short demo on how I managed to do it. Let's see. Okay, guys, so we are now going to start it. So first I need to open the VOOB meeting, which is yeah here. Just have it. Okay. Yeah, so now I'm going to schedule. So let's try to schedule. Okay, wait a moment. Meeting. So let's have here like trial. Trial class. Okay. So I'm going to schedule it at, um, what time is it now? So at least like 10. Okay, I'll just do it one hour because, okay, so that I can do it immediately right now, the demo. So it's like that. Okay, good. Yeah. So for example, you have already, um, what do you call that? Scheduled your class uh, via VOOB meeting. You'll just have to go here on the arrow down icon and then just copy invitation this one now i'm going to send this meeting id to the class in chat box of my students so let me just open it so it's here for example now i'm going to for example my student is teacher mel so i'm just going to click on the link in here okay but um, i just found out that clicking the link okay is not really um, what do you call the one? It's not really convenient for some of my students, but there are some students of mine who are uh, kind of techy, so they can actually do it on their own. But for your child students, you just have to send, okay, the meeting ID, this one, okay, just this. Just separate it like this one, both meeting ID, and then have it like this one, okay? Yeah. Why I put it like this? Because they can just copy, just copy this one here and then paste it on their booth meeting. So let's try this one. So let me just open here. Okay, let me try to record it. Give me a moment. All right, so, okay, so let me go to class in first. Class in, where's my class in? There you go. Okay, and then after that, I need to, okay, click on, okay, teacher Mel. Okay, and then I copy this one. Long press, copy, okay. Then after that, I must go to my VOOB, okay, there, okay. So now it's opening already. Yeah, and then join, click on join, and then just paste that one and then join meeting okay and now the student has already entered so i it's my turn to enter okay so i'll just have to go here and then trial class this is the set the schedule trial class so just have to enter here okay so let me make this one smaller so, so there you there go, you go. Mm. The, student the student and the teacher, and the teacher have, already have already entered, entered the, the classroom, classroom via Vue meeting, meeting right? right? Okay, okay so, so I'm just trying to... Okay, okay so, so choose, choose the, camera. the camera. So I've already, already opened, opened it. it. So, there so there you go. So, so now, now we are, we are going, going to start, to start the, class the class with the student. student. So. Like I told you, I still use the class in Blackboard because it has all the features and it makes your classroom tidy. So let's try that. So here's my class in. I just have to open the class in Blackboard. So it's here already. Maximize it. And then... You can, you can open, open first, first the book the that you're, you're going, going to use for your, your student. student. 
so let's, so let's just have this, have this one, one like one this place. okay give me a moment mm. okay for okay, example, example yeah why, yeah, why I, I use the class in blackboard is because i already I have my material saving yeah, here so it's also it's easier for me right? right so in just, in one, just one app, app I, can I can open, open everything, everything. So that's the, so that's the benefit, benefit of using of the class in Blackboard. Blackboard. You don't have to open so many books or so many materials. Okay. So let's try it. I could just couldn't find the... Why did I click that? Let me go back. So scroll it down. So actually, so these actually are the EDVs, EDVs also that I use or saved for my for students. My so if you want to use want this, to you can also do this. this. Okay, just click. Just for example, example, I had a class had a with class Tony. Tony. So I just, so click, I just the click the EDV. EDV. I save yeah, for Tony. For so there you go. So this. So right. So right. if you are so ready are to share already, share already, you only you have only to have go to this arrow. Yeah. And you have to go to VUV. Right. Right. Now, now, share screen button is here. here. Share, share it, it and then go and then to class in, in and then choose and then the blackboard. blackboard. And, then and then you have, you have to, to share, share it. it. So if you so want, if you want um, the student to hear whatever you play on your computer, you share PC audio, especially if you're going to play some videos or like uh, audio materials for the class. So you click on this one. So let's just say, click this. Okay. And then share it. Okay. So it's all good now. The classroom blackboard is already, already seen, seen by the student, student. And, this and this time, time it's, it's time, time for, for you, you to, to do it, do it. Like, like what are you wearing, wearing so the student whatever, whatever you underline, underline here the student can actually, actually see it, see it. Now, now you want, want to ask the student to, to circle jeans you just have to go to, go to annotation. annotation just make sure that, that you have, have enabled an uh, annotation for the student so, so okay student, student please, please circle, circle jeans, jeans for example exactly. right so now, so now the, student the student will go, go to okay this, this one annotation, annotation and then, then just circle, circle. See, that? see that so it's, it's already circled, circled here, here. Now, now when you're going to scroll this one down, down the, the okay the circle will not, will not go, go right, right with, with the book so what you only have to do if you want to save what the student has done, screenshot, okay? Screenshot, and then like this, right? And now you can remove the circle again. You just go in there, just erase it. Okay, it's all good again. So that's it, guys. It's actually so for me using Vuv and class, class in blackboard, blackboard together, together it will make our tasks easier, easier. We, can we can still make the class really class interactive, interactive because, because through, through the class, the class in blackboard, blackboard we can we still can use, use the dice, dice and also the screenshot outside, outside from, from the classroom, classroom and paste it, it on the on board, the board. So, so if you want though we don't have here like what do you call that? that? Rewards, right? right? You, can you can just copy and copy paste and some stars, stars for, your for your students, students. Like, like what, what we, we normally, normally do. do. Okay? okay? So, so I guess VU meeting, meeting and class in Blackboard, Blackboard will go together. So I so hope, hope this video tutorial um, um, really, really helps help you. you. If you if do you have, have, sorry. sorry. If you do have more, more questions, questions on how, how to maximize, maximize using, using the class in Blackboard, Blackboard plus the VU meeting, meeting, you can yeah. just comment down below oh, this video yeah. and then yeah. ask me. I will try to answer you back um, um, the soonest possible. All right. All right.
Yeah, yeah so, so that's, that's all, all guys. guys. So thank you so much for your time. And if and you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, channel, please do so. I will I, will, I really, really appreciate, appreciate it a lot, a lot if you do. So, so I will I try will my best to upload more helpful videos in the future. In the future. So, so that's, that's it. it. I, hope I hope no more worries about classing, class charging, class teachers. teachers. Three hundred dollars for like twelve years, right? So you just have to find another way. So this is what I thought, which is good for all online teachers who have a lot of students from China. Enjoy teaching. Have a great day. Bye.